Okay, Mark, so let's do a review of what we were talking about yesterday. First, your chord arpeggios. Okay, so an arpeggio is a way to highlight the notes in a chord, and you try to go through them in order. Okay, so you would hit root 3, 5, or root 3, 5, 7 if you're doing a 7th chord. So here's the basic form on the uh, E string. If you know your notes well enough, you can go through and find these throughout the guitar neck. But we would have root 3, 5, 8. Okay, so that's 5, 4, 7, 7. A, C sharp, E, A. Okay, you can continue that up. Root 3, 5, sorry, root 3, 5, root 3. You do that also on the D string. Sorry, right there. And the same thing on the E string. Okay? Here would be the four chord again. Okay? Now, if we want to do um, seventh chords, right, we just add in the seventh note. So root three, five, seven, one. And then. Okay, you could also go. Okay, and those are your arpeggiated seventh chords. I also wanted to use something called a sixth chord. Sounds like that, okay? Or you could also play it like that. So that's A6. Seventh fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. Okay, sounds real nice. And if we put our pinky down, it's a nine chord. Um, so, uh, that turnaround I was talking about there was uh, okay, so where you have the blues scale A walking up to five flat two one and then the six chord there. So you want to try and create your own scale or your own I'm sorry blues pattern using that flashy stuff. So here's that uh, next part for the um, for the cocaine blues right. It's, Left hand sounds like this, looks like this. Sorry, one. Okay. Right hand's doing this. Into the F. Okay, so you want to add those two pieces into the mix. Uh, give me a uh, text or an email if you're not understanding anything. See? You.